So I'm here in Washington DC today. I've had the privilege of meeting with some of the families of uh, the Israelis and others who were taken hostage on October the 7th. They're here as part of uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu's uh, delegation to Washington DC and across the United States. I met with a grandfather whose um, son and daughter-in-law and two beautiful grandchildren were taken on October the 7th. Uh, they've received information. You might remember them. Uh, little children with beautiful red hair. They've been told those children are no longer living, but he's hopeful against hope. He's received some proof of life about his son. Uh, I met a mother whose um, son was taken hostage on October the 7th. And while in that cap captivity, he was um, accidentally shot and killed by the IDF. And she's met with the soldiers of the IDF and extended forgiveness to them. I met another family whose um, uh, 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 daughter and children were hiding in the safe house uh, in their kibbutz. And as the terrorists came in, took them out of the safe house, killed the father. Uh, and uh, the little child, 12 years old, was taken into captivity and uh, uh, he's been released but he was forced to watch day after day after day of executions and people um, being killed and then i had the privilege of meeting noah hagani uh, noah you might remember uh, the world saw her on the back of the motorcycle leaving the music festival on october the 7th she said in uh, all her months of captivity she was only given a shower twice no regular food food kept underground uh, these situations remind us that Christ alone is our hope. So I implore you to pray. Pray for all people being held hostage. Um, not only those in Hamas, by Hamas, yes, pray for them. But pray for everyone being held hostage, that they'll be set free and released, and that Christ would be glorified. These were Israelis and others who were pleased to meet with me as a Christian leader here in Washington DC today, please to have our prayers, asking for our prayers, that we would um, not stop until each one is released.